Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button so you can get this notification every time I load up a new video. As you can see, I just got my tripod, my little ring light. It's nice and perfect. I'm in love with it. So now it's time for me to work with my hands instead of me holding the phone and doing this little crazy thing that was going on. So now it's time for me to give you the best, the best video as possible that I could try to give you. You understand? But, like I said, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, show some love, share the video, and let's get into it. So we're going to start with some large stream. Um, I just actually cleaned my stream, I peeled them. And I actually cut them the top to, you know, take the little black line out of there. So you make sure you want to cut it right down the middle and take the little cocky out of there. Next, I'll have grab a whole head of garlic. Instead of peeling them little by little, one by one, I'll just crack them with the back of my knife. It is super easy just to peel those garlic. All you want to do is put the garlic down, like I said. Just give it a little snack and it will peel all by itself instead of you going through this headache you know try to peel the garlic one by one So now that we have our garlic nice and peels, what you want to do is you want to chop those garlic nice into little pieces. You want to make sure they're all in little pieces before you put them in the pan. So now that we got our garlic nice and chopped, so now you want to work with some cilantro. I like to put cilantro almost on everything. It gives a nice flavor. So, you know, I add a lot of cilantro in my stuff. So you go on your own taste. But I have a little bunch of cilantro here. Now we're going to cut them down. Just like we did with the garlic. Nice and chopped. So now we're gonna season our shrimp. I have some sazon with achote. Achote is gonna give the nice reddish color. So if you wanna get that nice color, make sure your sazon says achote on it. And I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning. I, I like working with Italian seasoning. You know, I use it a lot in my dishes. And on top of that, we're gonna add some garlic powder because we're gonna get, you know, it's, shrimp is about garlic and butter. So we're gonna add some garlic powder. And of course, we're gonna add some adobo on your own taste. We're gonna add some salt and pepper on your own taste. And what I really like to add also is some apple cider vinegar. We're gonna go as like a teaspoon. So now it's time to mix all those flavor up in there together. And after you mix them up, what I usually do, I put them in the fridge for a good 15 minutes before I start cooking my shrimp. So it's your choice if you want to do it, but I do recommend it. I don't know, for some reason, like all that flavor stays in there. Now the front probably going to add some olive oil. You want to make sure your pan is nice and hot. As you can see, I'm moving around. That's how you can tell when your oil is hot. And now we want to add the garlic. So we're working with medium high heat. So you don't, you don't want to burn the garlic. We just want it. Make sure you get the nice brownish color before you want to put your shrimp in there. So as you can see, we're getting that nice brownish color. That's what we're looking for. You don't want to burn it. When we get that nice brownish color, you want to add some cilantro in there. Now we're going to add the shrimp. Make sure you put all the juice that was in the bowl. You want to mix that all around. Get it nice and red. 
So now what I do is I take a half a stick. I put a half a stick of butter in there. And get all that buttery in there with that garlic. Oh my God, I wish I could smell this right now. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a, a lemon in half and we're gonna put all those lemon juice in there. So at the lemon juice, you wanna keep stirring so you get that nice color. What I actually did here, I used a quarter cup of water just to get the nice juice in there. Oh my god. And now my favorite part is plating. So we got the nice rice with some parsley. I like to use parsley in my rice. I don't know. For some reason it looks nice. And let's put those strips on top of the rice. And what I actually do a lot is you wanna take the nice juice and put it all around that rice to get that nice flavor in there. And don't forget, we gotta add some avocado oh my god can you forget about that and there you go guys don't forget to follow me on instagram show some love give me a feedback on this video don't forget to like and subscribe and share